all the best National League content and National League transfer news, make sure to subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on. We're on the road to 4,000 subscribers, so subscribe right now. This is how close we are. You can see it down there. So make sure to help out and help us hit that incredible milestone. We are back today with another episode of the breaking National League transfer news. Yet again, another busy week in the National League. Lots of departures from clubs and lots of good signings have been made. Let's go for 122 likes on today's video. And like I said, make sure to subscribe. Check out the guys over at the 1412 if you want any Wrexham FC merch. And let's get into the news. The first bit of business is Joe Lewis has departed Torquay United for Stockport County. Now, after a great season at the goals, this was expected. A move would be away would happen. The 22-year-old has got his deserved move to the EFL. He carries a lot of key attributes described by Torquay United fans so I think he'll really flourish under Dave Challoner at Stockport County. He joins on an undisclosed fee and on a two-year deal so he can really settle down at the Hatters and like I said I think he'll do really well there. Inny Effiong has joined Aldershot Town from Woking. Now this was quite an unexpected signing after scoring 13 goals for the Cardinals last season. A transfer to Aldershot was a surprise to many, um, definitely a surprise to Woking fans after their reaction on social media. Um, the centre forward joins the shots on a two-year deal. He can score goals, we all know that, last season 13-40, and 40, so he's prolific in front of goal. And he's looking to do the same again for Aldershot, just about survive relegation. Now, I think with Effiong up front... They should be clear of relegation. They shouldn't be targeting. They signed seven other players as well the other day who've all played in the National League. So I think they'll do well. And this is some solid business done from Mark Mosley. Michael Giazzi has left Kings Lynn for Chesterfield. What a move this is for the winger. Now, he had an impressive loan spell in the second half of the season at Dover, which sort of, I think, sort of hinted to Paul Cook that he should make this signing. He's a quick winger who turned, like we said, into a really good player in the second half of the season once he was loaned out from Kings Lynn. Giazzi also said he felt he wasn't appreciated at Kings Lynn, so a move away wasn't an issue for both parties. And like I said, it's a big move for him. It's going to be interesting to see how he will do at a top side because he only scored five goals at Dover, but like I said, he made such an impact. He scored a hat trick against Wrexham, so. It will be interesting to see how he does. Niall Maher has left Halifax for Grimsby Town now after starting nearly every league match in the National League under Pete Wilde and having a really impressive season. It was Grimsby who beat off competition from Oldham, Tranmere, Leighton Orient to get him signed pen to paper for the newly promoted side. He will join the League 2 side on a two-year deal and he will be most likely partnering Luke Waterfall at the back. I can see that being a very solid combination of players. Um, so Niall Maher has got a move to the EFL. Adam Marriott has joined Bromley from Barnet. Now 17 league goals only meant one thing. He was going to get interest from other clubs and it was Andy Woodman's Ravens side who managed to sign him. He will probably form a good partnership with Michael Cheek at front. There was 34 goals between those two last season in the National League, so they can score goals. My only concern about this signing is 54% of Marriott's goals in the National League ever came last season. So he scored 54% of his all-time goals last season in the National League at Barnet. So whether he'll be able to carry that goal stat um, from last season to a top 10 side will be very interesting um, but like I said alongside Michael Cheek I think goals will not be a problem. Scott Cuthbert has departed Stevenage for Woking. What an excellent bit of business done yet again by Darren Saal. The 35 year old joins off the back of playing 238 league games in the past seven seasons in League 2. He has won League 1 title as well um, so he carries a vast amount of experience and should be quality alongside also new signing Luke Wilkinson. Yeah, Woking, I think this season are definitely going to be the team to look out for and I would certainly not underestimate them. And the last signing is Akeel Wright has joined Stockport from York City. Now a player 
that led the midfield for the minced men last season played a vital part in their promotion to the National League. As a Wrexham fan, we all know about him. A constant runner, a good tackler, a tidy midfielder. All words that describe his style of play. And I wouldn't have minded him coming back to the racecourse ground, but I think an EFL move was deserved and was about time that it happened for him. So I want to wish the best of luck to Akil Wright on his move to Stockport. A few other bits of transfer news that I could have included. Joe Cook has left Bogner for Chesterfield. Callum Reynolds has left Dagenham for Bromley. And Christian Magoma has joined Eastley on a permanent deal after his contract expiry at Gillingham. So that is the end of the video. Let me know in the comments section the best signing on this list. Yet again, like I said, a busy week in the National League for Transfer News. And I think we're only getting started. There's a lot more to come. So make sure to press the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And we're on the road to 4K. So help out by hitting it. And I'll see you guys in the video. Take care.